Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Happy New Moon! This new moon in Gemini has some healing, positive, and potentially tricky astrology that is all about you using your powers of discernment, discretion, and communication wisely. And this really determining some positive developments and connections that support your finances, success, dreams, or a goal in some way. And it determining you avoiding some experience of deception or taking a loss. So take a minute to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And let's get into the new moon astrology, the transformative new beginnings it could be activating in your life, and the channeled spiritual and practical guidance so you can best work with these energies strategically. Okay, this Gemini new moon astrology features the sun and moon meeting up with each other and forming a square to Neptune in Pisces in the last decan. In many ways, this new moon comes to offer some healing and an opportunity to write a new beginning in communication and relationships and in how you navigate them in an area of your life where you maybe experience circumstances, people, and dynamics that were tricky, frustrating, and even antagonistic and a threat to your livelihood. You know, having things on the line, right? And this is related to the recent past squares between Mars in Gemini and Neptune in Pisces at precisely the same coordinates, right? So those squares connected with fixed stars related to wealth, power, greed, aggression, and they activated these tests of faith, sanity, discernment, emotional intelligence, tests of your temper and spiritual self-mastery and mindfulness with communication, aggression, and self-expression in relationship matters, right? Often collegiate and business relationships. And speaking of tests, Pluto has also just retrograde back into Capricorn, right? Around the time of this uh, new moon, while Saturn also stations retrograde in Pisces on the day of this new moon until November 4th, right? And so understanding and mastering the lessons of Saturn and Pluto from the last 15 years is also really, really important. Their retrogrades and this new moon is all about offering a second chance to course correct issues particularly issues with communication, self-expression, and even branding, right? And some complicated area of life for your benefit. So check out the video here on this channel, breaking down the specific lessons and blessings that Saturn and Pluto have been helping you master the last 15 years and what they are helping you master for the next 20 years, okay? And those are short and sweet, and they include astrology and a tarot oracle message. So since the sun and the moon are returning to these exact Mars and Neptune square coordinates, while Gemini's ruling planet, Mercury, is also in Gemini and forming a sextile with Venus and Leo, this is absolutely an opportunity to use your powers of attraction, discernment, discretion, and communication wisely, right? To influence some positive developments and connections that support your dreams or a goal in some way, and an opportunity to avoid deception or loss, and an opportunity to even outsmart some sort of situation, right? Definitely stick to the facts and look out for any red flags or deception, right? People could be embellishing the truth, right? So definitely comment down below how this maybe showed up for you before, how this could be showing up for you around this new moon time. And definitely watch the Venus and Leo video for more practical astrology and tarot insights related to your powers of attraction and self-expression at this time in any scenarios in your life from June through October. Okay. So with this new moon, 
not only will this be a sort of opportunity for spiritual graduation for some of you, right, in terms of your spiritual growth and a higher understanding, allowing you to shape your outcomes in a way that answers your prayers and leads to prosperity of some sort. But this is also a deeply spiritual lunation, right? Where any creative, artistic, research, or educational activities or spiritual activities conducted at this time can be really powerful. For example, energy cleansing, rituals, meditation, prayer, intention setting, and divination, right? You get the idea. Taking sacred time for spiritual renewal and getting in touch with ideas, your higher mind, and clarifying your intentions are important with this new moon. And this is also related to the spiritual and mystical lessons of this new moon degree that is being activated. Okay, so the new moon degree here is all about marking the end of a period of stagnancy and purification for some, and the beginning of this period of purification for others. For example, the mystical teachings of the degree are all about purification to come into contact with our essential spiritual self, right? Our soul essence, and how this enables divine resonance and connection with nature, its beauty, more inspiring relationships, and that enabling us to be a conduit or a channel for creating more beauty in the world, right? It's about purging out what does not ignite wonder, awe, and use in our lives and consciously putting ourselves in new situations and environments that will enable us to relate from that authentic self and that will also challenge us to continue growing into and embodying our higher self, okay? And so, Because of the fixed stars that the sun and moon will be situated between, it speaks to this purification process, perhaps relating to literally experiencing sickness or a loss of some sort around this time. Okay, And the ways that loss, sickness, or isolation will be critical to spiritual enlightenment for some of you and being divinely protected from something. It could also be about the ways that a phase of spiritual enlightenment that was related to loss, sickness, or isolation is coming to a close and shifting into a new cycle for some of you where this new cycle will include new relationships, financial increase, and an increase in your spiritual powers or gifts, right? So ultimately, whatever phase that you fall in with this process, A Gemini new moon with the square to Neptune is about you eventually coming to realize the blessings in disguise. So to wrap up the general collective sort of spiritual message here, there were some channeled angel numbers that came through for the collective. Those numbers were the angel number 444 and the angel number 622. So The angel number 444 is all about practicality, responsibility, illumination, and initiation, building solid foundations, stability, and ability, honesty, and inner wisdom, determination, and endurance, hard work, and passion, and drive, and working harmoniously and diligently to achieve goals and aspirations. Okay, this is a number that is about paying attention to your intuition and inner wisdom as your connection with the angels and the angelic realm could be very strong at this time. You are encouraged to continue on your current path as your drive and determination will lead to success and fulfillment. 444 is a message that The angels, archangels, and your spirit team are encouraging and and guiding you. They are offering you positive energies, inner strength, and support to enable you to get the work done that you need to. I also think that this is related to Saturn retrograding, and Daddy Saturn is absolutely about giving that little bit of tough love and, you know, healthy limitations that help 
to set strong foundations and get the work done that needs to be done, right? Okay, so this says, they know and understand that you have been toiling diligently towards your goals. They encourage you to continue on your current path to achieve the success and results you desire. Use your connection with the angelic realm and be open to their promptings and messages. Listen to your intuition and follow its guidance. It is a message that you have nothing to fear in regards to your life work and divine life purpose. When you take positive action toward your highest intentions, aspirations, and goals, the universe will work in your favor and help you establish solid foundations and advance you along your path. Know that the angels surround and support you, encouraging you to keep up the good work you have been doing. This is a message that all is well and you are on the right life path and doing a great job, okay? Your spirit team is available for help and guidance. All you need to do is ask. And then 622 is a number that is about domesticity, home life, family, service to others, and selflessness. It's about providing for the self and others, personal willpower, grace, initiative, action, showing gratitude. Speaking of which, you should absolutely subscribe to the channel and keep up with our daily grace motivations that are posted here on the daily in the shorts tab and on the community tab and also on our TikTok, okay? So the number six is also about problem solving and overcoming obstacles. The number two is that number that's about balance and harmony, understanding, diplomacy, mediation, okay, that definitely came up related to the stars, okay? So 622 has to do with your personal spirituality and life purpose, okay? And it is about Maintaining faith and trust in the universe and universal energies with regards to all of your monetary and material needs being met. It says, give any fears of lack or loss to the angels for healing and trust that all you need will be provided. Your angels and spirit guides are helping you to recognize and acknowledge the divine light within yourself and others. And it's a powerful message of belief, faith, and trust and how prayers, a positive attitude, visualizations, and positive affirmations are powerful and will be acknowledged. Trust that your desired results will manifest. Stay focused, balanced, and at peace, and know that all is going to divine right order and in divine right time. Okay, so those are the general collective messages. So we're going to get into your brief new moon horoscopes and tarot insights. So you can click the timestamp for your zodiac sign in terms of your sun, your rising, your moon sign, and any sign in which you have a stellium for helpful insight. Hello, dear Geminis. So everything mentioned in the general reading obviously applies to you. <laughs> this new moon is all about speaking dreams into existence and writing a new narrative. It's about how you move forward, creating a new chapter in career and writing a new narrative of who you are based on experiences that really forced you to soul search, to deepen your self-confidence and clarify your intentions and a strategy in your career. This world card is all about you having sacred knowledge and experience now to do so, right? Um, having sacred knowledge and experience to navigate the world and reach goals beyond your dreams. This new moon marks the end and beginning of a new chapter of how you protect and assert your identity, your ideas and boundaries, how you communicate or express your personal identity or business brand identity, and Choose your associates carefully, thinking about aesthetics, timing, discretion with details, and only sharing goals, details, and certain parts of yourself with people who you trust, and speaking from a place of confidence and authority, strong intuition, self-trust, and conviction in who you are, conviction in your point of view, and what you want to achieve. All of these things could be important for you renewing your career your professional reputation, social status, and reaching a visionary goal. 
All right. And these are all related to the fact that, you know, this new moon and also Mercury are in your first house and Nep and it's a square with Neptune and your 10th house of career, right? Okay. So this could be a time of really finding soulmates that may be non-romantic and key resources and new insights that help you with something that you work on behind the scenes or these things awakening you spiritually, right? You could be receiving news of financial and emotional support from making great impressions in new professional relationships, receiving a boost in sales, and just really experiencing heightened intuition, right? This new moon is really a mystical time for you, speaking things into existence, communicating with spirit, and beginning a new fresh chapter with your physical health, with writing, media, education, wellness, fashion, and fitness projects. Okay, like this video and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you check out all of the other videos here in our playlist related to the current long-term transits that are affecting the remainder of 2023. Take a care, Geminis. Hello, dear Taurus. So, Taurus, this new moon is all about compassionate boundaries, balance, and give and take for you. This new moon could be a very lucrative moon for you in terms of sales from any of your projects released through media and sales channels, or are you receiving a new opportunity, right? Anything related to music, astrology, fashion, self-care, beauty, body image, plants, or something about a social cause, especially, right? But also in terms of you receiving financial or emotional support from a person, a group, organization, a network, or um, social media or sales channels that help you with a dream, a creative project, a venture, or a goal. Or, you know, this emotional and financial support allowing you to take time off and invest in self-care and rest after spending a lot of time working and helping others, right? The six of pentacles here is always a reminder to balance self-care and also to check the motives and mutual reciprocity in relationships and any endeavors, okay? This new moon could be about you rewriting your patterns of asserting compassionate boundaries and having more discretion or higher intentions with relationships and opportunities that you entertain. This could be you receiving new opportunities to learn or help others or connect with or contribute to social causes, right? Or social or support groups. And even to raise awareness about a social a social issue or have social impact, right? Using your platforms in some way. This could also be a time where you get an idea to make money doing something that means a lot to you and that also helps others, right? And that maybe involves spirituality, art, or social media in some way. And all of this is because this new moon is taking place in your second house of money, values, while it is forming a square to Neptune in your 11th house of social groups and social media and your points of view, right? So with this new moon, it could also be that someone or something inspires an idea for doing something that contributes to a cause, right? So in any case, I hope that this is a great new moon for you and a beautiful new chapter unfolding. Like this video and subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out the remaining videos here on the channel that are so relevant for the Taurus Collective given the long-term transits that are at play, such as eclipses happening in your sign and your sister sign and Jupiter being in your sign. So that playlist has long-term current transit astrology and tarot insights. and They are linked below and on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and take good care of yourselves, dear Taurus.
Hello, dear Aries. So, Aries, because you may have a natural chart, particularly those of you with Aries rising, everything mentioned in the Gemini general reading especially applies to you as well. This new moon marks the end and beginning of a new chapter of how you protect and renew your energy, your peace, and your mental health. It's about how you protect, assert, and communicate your ideas and boundaries how you communicate or express your business brand identity, how you choose your associates carefully. And in both instances, thinking about aesthetics, timing, discretion with details, and only sharing goals, details, and certain parts of yourself with people you trust. And speaking from a place of confidence and authority, strong intuition, self-trust, and conviction in who you are, your point of view, and what you want to achieve. This new moon marks a new beginning in you exercising diplomacy and assertive kindness in your communication to help you problem solve, to win others over with your words, to mediate and resolve something, and a new beginning in using the gifts of language or music, explanation, poetics, a beautiful voice, or diplomatic use of words in your projects or teaching. Because the Nine of Wands is here and there's a square with the 12th house, there's something here about mental health challenges and breakthrough, maybe in talk therapy or just personally. Maybe you perhaps healing wounds that have hardened you in any way or made you build a wall or a resistance with asking for help, maybe contributed to habits of you doing everything by yourself, which can lead to burnout. If you become sick at this time, it could be spirit's way of forcing you to rest and renew your energy or creating a divine detour with something. This new moon is great for rest, spiritual ritual, energy healing, and renewal. And it is exactly what it looks like uh, is happening in this card, right? It's great for you speaking things into existence and communicating with spirit. It really marks you completing and beginning a new fresh chapter with some sort of general or wellness education with writing, art, media, education, wellness projects, and seeing successes in the near future. The third house also focuses on daily routines and travel. And so it's definitely about how you continue to move forward towards goals by creating a new daily routine and work schedules for focus and flow with the things that you're working on and making sure that it includes consistent spiritual wellness activities to really like clear your energy so you can sustain the work that you do. And with the nine of wands here, it could even be about uh, upcoming changes in your daily routines due to travel. And maybe you mentally and practically preparing for travel or relocation around this time. And the nine of wands here is definitely a message not to give up with any goal that you're working toward, right? Because you may be closer to success than you think. I'm also seeing this nine of wands as a bit of a congratulations to you all, right? For resilience through any challenges, blocks, or constraints, right? Especially with any of these sort of tricky scenarios, etc., that I mentioned in the general collective overview, right? And this card is also a signal for you to do an audit of like who and what activities drain your energy, maybe siblings, extended family, certain habits, any drugs, what you consume in every way, including TV, social media, etc. Right. And it's a message that if you are experiencing any challenges to really tap into your inner strength and higher wisdom, some form of therapy, right? healthy medical alternatives, and your spirit team. For some of you, spending more time bonding, expressing love, and doing fun and creative things, or doing fun things with your siblings, extended family, and pets could support you emotionally. And this new moon could be about, you know, marking a period of you prioritizing and balancing these things more in your daily routines going forward as well. But for many of you, this card and the stars are encouraging you to try to carve out more alone time for healing, observing, listening, learning, downloading, and spiritual integration, right? Carving out as much time for all of these things as you can. You will be receiving knowledge to create visionary things is the message that I'm getting. And 
drawing down a higher level of light, insight, and vitality in your body, right? In a way that will truly enhance any literary, creative, or multimedia projects that you create in the future. Okay, dear Aries. So take good care of yourselves. Like this video and subscribe to the channel and check out all of the remaining videos here on the channel, especially related to the current long-term transits that will be influencing so many wonderful things in your lives, fortune, destiny, etc. throughout the remainder of the year and into 2024. Hello dear Pisces, pulling the moon and eight of cups card for this new moon while the new moon and Mercury are in your fourth house of family and home life indicates that many of you may be looking at new homes, selling homes, personal belongings and property, or making interior design, landscaping, or vacation travel decisions, and trying to finalize decisions around relocation and new beginnings in your family and home life. Maybe that decision involves some grief and emotional release or hinges on parenting, right? Or your ability to be close to your parents, your mother, mother nature, or water, or certain views or landmarks, right? The cards and stars are indicating this new moon being one of contemplation, uncertainty, and imagination related to where you would most feel at home in the world and can have some stability, and also where you can have discretion, privacy, and protection of your inner world, family, and home life. The moon indicates that your intuition, dreams, and how a space makes you feel could be the way to make the best decisions, while it's also important to be realistic. If you ask the universe for a sign, you can receive it. The Venus and Leo and Eclipse readings definitely apply here, so be sure to check those out on the channel. They go into more detail with the wisdom, insight, and advice for any issues you may be navigating related to privacy, trust, and decision making with matters related to love, property, parenting, home, and family. These have been some sort of themes that have come up in the astrology and tarot readings that I have done for the long-term transits that are related to the remainder of 2023, okay? So I'm also getting a message here for someone about maybe someone arranging dates or marriage for some of you, or even blind dating. <laughs> um, related to this new moon squaring Neptune in your first house of identity, physique, appearance, and body image and fashion, it could indicate the ways that you are beginning a journey of trying to feel more at home in your body, right? Um, maybe related to nutrition and changing your diet, or you may be working on your dream body, appearance and fashion, and just generally undergoing personal transformation and identity physical body appearance, and spiritual sense of self. For some of you, this could even be about a new job with fashion design or a new chapter of battling or even defying some pressures to achieve some sort of physical ideal goal or expectations that people have for your identity and your image, whether that's societal, cultural, or f familial pressures, right? And related to diet and nutrition, some of you may even experience nausea or sickness of some sort related to foreign food or pregnancy, given this new moon connects with fixed stars that are related to sickness. And the fourth house and the moon and the eight of cups cards are actually related to the gut, gut issues, nutrition, but also reproductive and the excretory systems. And um, with Neptune in the mix, it could absolutely also be about pregnancy, all right? And for some of you, this new moon could absolutely indicate designing maternity fashion, choosing maternity fashion, uh, choosing birthing options. It could be related to due dates of pregnancies, right? Or even postpartum depression or miscarriage and um, this theme of like ideal co-parenting relationships. And that has, again, been coming up. So the cards in the new moon astrology just absolutely suggest that maybe vivid dreams and imagination around this time could be a thing. It could just be a great time to rest and meditate. And it could indicate that from this point forward, you will be gaining some clarity to make the decisions uh, 
that you need to make, right? And that if dealing with any health issues mentioned, this could mark a point where things really begin to settle and improve for you, okay? So definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel, Dear Pisces, and check out all of those videos here on the channel and the playlist related to the current long-term transits that are going to be powerfully affecting fate and destiny the remainder of 2023 and into 2024. Thanks so much for watching. Hello, dear Aquarius. The cards and stars make this a really clear, short and sweet message. Having a new moon in the fifth house is all about a new cycle of self-confidence, socializing, fun, romance, dating, travel, and creative artistry beginning for you. With this new moon, you could be feeling attractive, free, open to love and socializing, and receiving more clarity on what it is that you want in a partner, what values are important to you, and what standards you will uphold for yourself based on some wisdom from your last relationship that ended. The cards absolutely indicate perhaps having new dating options and having income, children, pets, travel, and publicity to consider in any choices that you make in your romantic life in general related to your lifestyle or perhaps with the lifestyle of a specific person you are dating. But for some of you, you are enjoying your freedom. For others, the cards are about your current committed relationship and you having been in a period of instability uncertainty, and even separation with your partner, and you trying to be trusting and receptive to romantic and sexual gestures from your partner who may want you back, right, or some reconciliation. For some of you, this is about a new chapter of sexual freedom and or a queer relationship, right? Decisions to have an open or non-monogamous or polyamorous relationship even, and to generally explore your sexuality. For some of you, this new moon marks a new baby or pet entering in your family or relationship and it changing the dynamics of the relationship and uh, even changing finances, right? And so this new moon marks a new chapter of maybe considering how to balance intimacy, sex, and self-care with careers and other aspects of your lifestyle. Right. And this is courtesy of the new moon and Mercury um, square in your second house. Right. And this is all about how you invest your time, energy and attention in addition to money. OK, so it's about feeling valued as well. So you may find that someone enters your life or steps it up and makes you feel valued and satisfied in all the ways that you desire. In any case, with the new moon being in Gemini, it's about you being brave and expressing what you want so that you get what you desire and deserve. This is also a very spiritual and creative lunation for you. You could get great ideas at this time for any creative project or ventures. And this page of cups absolutely symbolizes speaking things into existence. It could also be a great time for you to release, publish, or launch things, and you see an increase in your finances. All right, dear Aquarius, so definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel, and check out the remaining videos here on the channel related to the long-term transits that are going to be affecting the remainder of 2023 and even 2024, bringing faded changes opportunities and resources related to destiny. All right. So thank you so much for watching and take good care. Hello, dear Capricorns. With this new moon and Mercury in your sixth house, a new chapter is beginning for you in the areas of work, health, daily routines, and travel, work-life balance, communications and self-expression, and navigating co-worker dynamics. The hanged man is actually connected to the planet Neptune, and so it definitely suggests this new moon may mark a period of you being at a crossroads or a state of transition related to health, your job, and having to practice a kind of mindfulness with health, work-life balance, maybe keeping up with health appointments, 
and navigating coworker dynamics. Neptune in the third house could be about mindfulness with avoiding gossip in the workplace, toxic dynamics, and asserting compassionate boundaries with people you work with, or even with siblings or extended family. You could receive some sort of revelation or awareness about secret enemies or rumors in the workplace and need to distance yourself. I'm actually seeing a visual um, of being held up in traffic, like with the traffic director, you know, like having their arms like outstretched, like the hangman here, like directing traffic. And so I'm getting a message here about experiencing maybe a literal traffic detour on the way to work or on the way to someplace, right? Or a divine detour related to a job, job relocation or something, right? That ends up rerouting you um, to something important you would not have become aware of, right? Otherwise, or in some sort of divine way to protect and bless you, right? Definitely come back to this reading and let me know what this is or how it resonates, like what happens around the time of this new moon between, what is it, June uh, 18th through July 17th, but in general, related to health in the sixth house, some of you may even experience nausea, sickness, or fatigue, or mental health challenges of some sort, given that this new moon connects with fixed stars that are related to sickness, right? It could require you to rest, to put certain deadlines or project releases related to writing, publishing, singing, or some creative project on hold. Um, it could uh, it could be about you needing to sacrifice certain health habits and routines even, right? Or seek a medical professional's perspective. So with this new moon, expect information, maybe delays, crossroads and divine detours and choice points, right? That force you to get still, creative, and to communicate boundaries and practice patience and to connect with your body, your faith and discernment, right? Something could be happening for you that transforms your point of view, perspective, worldview, and that forces you to realign and rebalance your daily life and working relationships in some way. Okay, dear Capricorns. So, Definitely take good care of yourselves, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you check out all the remaining videos here for you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, dear Sage. So this new moon brings a big ending and beginning in your committed love and business relationships, some sort of contracts, releases, and a sense of home. There may be deep heartache and grief from recent and core foundational experiences that you are finally moving beyond from this new moon forward, okay? This new moon is about finding acceptance and emotional release and detachment related to these changes. And this could include finding emotional support in a support group, a wellness retreat with a therapist, spending time in nature, doing creative and expressive art as an emotional outlet since Neptune is in the fourth house, or spending time with family and friends and adjusting to new relationships, surroundings, and just generally finding deep wisdom and higher understanding for the growth that comes from this change that fundamentally destabilized you emotionally. It is emotionally difficult, forced, even hard to accept, something you can't or even couldn't quite negotiate, rationalize, or fix even if you wanted to and when you tried, right? And in all of the readings I've done for you, your 2023 Timeless Tarot Overview for the Year and the long-term transit readings that affect the remainder of 2023, it indicated that this big change would happen for you, right? And be related to disrupting health, career, and love, and professional relationships in some way. So definitely check those readings out, okay? And it is part of a greater and unavoidable spiritual transformation and awakening that the divine and your ancestors are orchestrating. For example, Neptune is the planet of loss, spirituality, mental health, and healing art. It is in your fourth house, right? This house of home and family life, ancestry, grandmothers, the divine mother, right? And the south node and deep trauma and emotional attachments. 
It is about the universe taking things away that provided emotional security for you so that you evolve spiritually and access wisdom. There are ways that you don't and even couldn't see and understand how the things taken away are hindering your growth, right? And so the moon here in this card is speaking so powerfully. It's speaking so powerfully to so many different esoteric things, okay? Um, and so the advice is to watch your 2023 Timeless Tarot reading here on the channel and to surrender to deep healing, detachment, and a faith in the divine while they orchestrate a powerful divine detour in your life. A new chapter is waiting to be written, and this detachment and detour right? Being led along this stream, right? It leads you to your nine of cups. It's ultimate healing and emotional and wish fulfillment. So visualization, journaling, music, nature, and talking to spirit out loud from your heart can be so powerful this new moon. And you are, you know, being given the message that you are being held in the grace of the divine mother. With this mercurial new moon in a square to Neptune, you will come to realize the blessing in disguise, okay? So like this video and subscribe to the channel, Dear Sagittarius, and I wish you so much happiness, health, and healing going forward. Hello, dear Scorpios. This Gemini New Moon astrology marks endings and new beginnings for you related to your sense of personal power and speaking up for yourself in terms of what you desire and deserve. And it's about tending to the emotions that come with navigating losses, gains, negotiations, and deep transformations with finances and mutual assets in your committed love and professional relationships and with creative and entrepreneurial ventures, your sex life and sexual expression, medical operations and even health insurance, and psychological and spiritual growth. With the Eight of Cups here and this Neptune square in your fifth house, it indicates a new chapter of finding acceptance, emotional release and detachment, and healing, empowerment. Self-confidence, self-love, independence, and a sort of creative freedom related to these matters and, and any of these sorts of transformations. And your life has been in a process of deep transformation for the past year and a half, really related to the eclipses in your sign and your sister sign. So definitely make sure you watch the 2023 eclipse season horoscope and tarot guide. And also the readings about how the major transits are affecting you for so much more in-depth wisdom and understanding, okay? This new moon could include parting with sentimental items, right? Finding emotional support in a group or in expressive art, spirituality, a sexual affair, <laughs> or even exploring sexual healing and other healing arts. It could absolutely be about a period of health recovery from something and it giving you a boost in your boost in your confidence. It could mark you finalizing settlements, custody battles, or new contracts, right? And rewriting new boundaries in your relationships with children and people you love and just generally finding deep wisdom, higher understanding and empowerment for growth right? A new moon in the eighth house is a big deal. It's about seeing the gains from losses, right? The deep knowledge and wisdom you receive, the connections you make, the financial health and even esoteric knowledge that you gain, and the sense of empowerment that you realize you've gained from having survived something, right? With newfound knowledge that helps you thrive. And so with this new moon, you could be empowered to lead, right? Be independent, be a wisdom teacher. Some of you may be healers, right? Medical professionals or professional consultants who are the ones who provide help in these types of, in these types of scenarios, right? And this new moon indicating a period where maybe you're opening a private practice or striking out on your own and investing in a new creative entrepreneurial venture. I have to say that I got the message um, with the new moon squaring Neptune in the fifth house. I got some message about hair loss, maybe helping someone with hair loss. That's a message for somebody. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the Eight of Cups and its imagery in this deck is quite literally symbolic of what it means to come to a point where a new chapter is just waiting to be written, right? And where this detachment and a detour being led along this stream, right, leads you to your Nine of Cups, ultimate emotional and wish fulfillment, and more fun, freedom, and personal happiness, right, doing things that are creative. And so with the square to the fifth house, like visualization and journaling, and talking to spirit out loud from your heart about your desires could be so powerful, this new moon. And with the square to Neptune, you come to realize the blessing in disguise. So like this video and subscribe to the channel, dear Leos. Definitely make sure that you check out the remaining videos on this channel, particularly the Venus and Leo transit video that gives insight on how this particular transit, Venus in your house of career, is going to be affecting so much from June to October. It being in this career house for four months is a really rare thing. So that video could also be really helpful for you. In addition to the remaining uh, videos in our playlist with all of the current long-term transits affecting the remainder of 2023 and even 2024. All right. Thank you so much for watching and take good care. Hello, dear Libras. So this new moon is about moving forward with a new and improved moral code, moving forward with wisdom about and a commitment to integrity, fairness, uh, understanding of bias, privilege, and balance, and refinement and honesty in your communications and self-expression in work and co-worker dynamics, relationships with people of different cultures and at a distance to you, and related to any circumstances uh, related to publishing, public speaking, media, and sales. It's about integrating knowledge and lessons from experiences in which your integrity, honesty, transparency, and decision-making may have been called into question in these areas mentioned, or in legal, medical, and education matters, right? It's about integrating knowledge and lessons from legal medical and education experiences that involved looking at facts, documents, truth, correspondence, right, and evidence objectively and making decisions. It's about accepting and living with important judgments and decisions you made or received in these areas and reflecting on how they affect your life and the lives of others even. What they represent more broadly about principles of power, equality, integrity, fairness, and being judged by cultural differences in life and how your own choices and decisions did or maybe didn't or do and don't reflect these principles, right? And you're just sort of doing an audit of your own choices to move forward. The general higher spiritual lesson and invitation seems to be particularly relevant for the Libra Collective in terms of that question of how have you written your narrative? Do your choices reflect higher wisdom and integrity and even careful research and truth? And how will you write this new chapter, right? Is there a decision you are currently weighing related to any of these areas or dynamics mentioned? And what are the facts? And how can you make a balanced and fair decision or plea? For some of you, this new moon is more explicitly about work-life balance and travel planning. And just attention to the fine print and terms and conditions and documents and matters related to health and clear boundaries, okay? You receiving the justice card in your reading, which is connected to your sign, absolutely just indicates that a lot of deep contemplation, inner work, and transformation is happening for you all. Also in relationship to the fact that the eclipses are in the works and, and sort of asking you to do that sort of deep work and transformation as well, right? Having the eclipses in your sister Venus ruled sign Taurus 
and also having the eclipses in your sister sign Aries and coming up in your sign, right? So there's just a lot happening. So definitely check out the 2023 eclipse season guide for much more in-depth information and relevant wisdom that could be supportive for you at this time. Definitely like this video and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, dear Libras. Hello, dear Virgos. So this Gemini new moon is about a new chapter in your career, reputation, and social status. And it's focused on you exercising compassionate and sincere communication and self-expression, compassionate boundaries and empathy, and tactful negotiation with your committed partners to maintain harmony. And particularly when you are being faced with managing instances of challenge, right, or problem solving and troubleshooting things. The Knight of Cups showing up here in the Neptune Square could indicate that this is something you are and have been working to improve, right? Because maybe it could have been an issue in the past and because it is necessary given your line of work. There could be a question around your sincerity, self-advocacy, fairness, and decision-making when communicating with committed love and business partners and, and the public, right? Particularly if you do something professionally related to public speaking or counseling or even music performance, right, and relating to people. These are the ways the themes of speaking your dreams into existence and writing a new chapter manifests for you in this astrology, right? This new moon indicates a new chapter where events will unfold and new relationship interactions will test your ability to truly master this balance now and where you see the gift in speaking from your heart and how much you gain when you give. All right. So dear Virgos, like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below how this resonates for you, and be sure that you check out all of the remaining videos here that could be helpful, particularly your 2023 Timeless Tarot and the uh, Astrology and Tarot readings that give some insight into the remaining transits that are going to be affecting the rest of the year and even 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Hello, dear Leos. So there's an interesting message here for you. This new moon and the square to Neptune are happening in your houses of financial and social gains, losses, and power. And so it's indicating that how you communicate and express your desires, your image, your marketing, and your points of view on money, power, health, spirituality, and sex in particular could be so critical and determine your level of financial and social support, okay? When the shadow work in the universe cards came out, immediately I got the message that there may need to be some shadow work about how you connect with others and relate to others. And then I got the two of cups. And when I was trying to take the photo of the cards, I couldn't get the image right. And it was like, that was the phrase that I kept saying when I was like trying to, <laughs> to take the photo. And, um, it's like that was the particular phrase that stuck out related to your new moon message, right? In some way about inviting you to do some shadow work, right? A new moon in your 11th house of social media messaging, social groups, and points of view squaring the eighth house is all about how image energy and sincerity, believability, and even the intensity and relatability of your messaging and marketing and appearance, even the quality and the pricing of any any service or products that you offer via sales channels, how all of these things could lead to unexpected losses or gains, right? So this square is about you know, people being able to see through any insincerity or even deceptive marketing, right? And and um, also for you to just look out for those kinds of things in general with, with you, you know, providing, being a patron to others, right? So these are the ways that the themes of speaking your dreams into existence and writing a new chapter um, manifest for you, right? So there are these questions, right, of what are the intentions behind the things you offer to the world? 
What are people investing in by investing in you or what you offer? And even this question of who is your target audience, right? And these could be particularly important questions to consider, um, you know, just heating the shadow work card, especially because we have Venus entering into your sign, dear Leos, right? And being here for four months, which is a really rare thing, right? And so it's a powerful time of just drawing in so much love and support and success. And so I think that is why, you know, this mindfulness is just all the more important. Okay. So definitely check out that video here on the channel. Okay. Uh, Venus and Leo, in addition to all of the other, uh, videos that I have here that give some insight from the long-term tra transits affecting 2023 and even into 2024. Hope that it helps with your strategic planning and success. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Hello, dear Cancers. The star card and the stars themselves indicate this new moon is a very healing and spiritual new moon for you. This moment is best spent doing more spiritual, psychological, healing, or artistic activities and restoring your energy reserves. Checking in with your internal world, your intentions, your spirit team, your dreams, and the realistic potential of any new ideas you have. And ultimately reflecting on all you've learned from the amazing cultural experiences and relationships you've gained and all you've accomplished. This new moon marks a period of going forward with pride, peace, and optimism about doing work that means something to you, your heritage, and social groups that you care about. It's a moment to honestly audit your ability to balance creativity, work, travel, and your expanding roster of relationships and responsibilities. And it's a moment to speak what you need into existence to maintain this balance and to even make a bucket list for this new chapter that you are going to be writing with the help of incredible, supportive Wisdom teachers, mentors, um, people who are established in your industry, right? And who have lots of wisdom and advice that they could offer you with anything. I hope that this is such a healing new moon for you, Cancers. Definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. And check out all of the other remaining videos here to help with your strategic planning and insight for the rest of the year and even into 2024 as you are dreaming and resting and manifesting, okay? Take good care.